Hey guys, it's Sinem and welcome back to my channel or welcome if you are new here and you're watching me for the first time. So as you can tell by the title, today we're going to be testing out the brand new e.l.f. Mint Melt Collection, which they just launched and I did a look using this, using the products and I absolutely love how the eyes turned out. Look at it, it's literally like chocolate chip ice cream, mint chocolate chip ice cream. So I did uh, pick up a few of the products and we're going to be testing them out today. And do you love that I'm matching with it? I absolutely love how everything just came out with the top and everything. I really love um, how the look came out. And if you guys want to see the products from this brand new e.l.f. collection, then please keep on watching. We are playing around with the mint melt collection from e.l.f. today. And I did pick up a few items, which I'm just going to be dabbling into. And I'm just... I love how I'm matching with the top. So I do have the chocolate mint eyeshadow quad and I also picked up the cooling face primer which is that one and then we have the no budge cream eyeshadow stick and then I also picked up a gloss. So this is the no budge eyeshadow cream stick first of all packaging is so on point i absolutely love the color of it it's very bright it's very vibrant and i picked this one up in mint for you this one is supposed to be a crease resistant and budge proof uh, cream eyeshadow stick and it's very creamy and blendable so we're going to be seeing how it applies so i'm actually just going to start off and see how it's going to apply oh it is very creamy okay and very, very pigmented. I'm so shocked. I honestly thought this was going to be really, really drying. It's literally so creamy, like super creamy. I wonder if you blend it out, will it lose its color? Let's see. Okay, so it doesn't and it almost feels like it dries down. So it will stay put like that. So they do have a few other shades in this collection and they do have a mint palette. I did pick up the one with some neutrals because I felt like I wanted to have these where I get a pop of mint, but I also wanted the option of having like a brown and a black as well, well, a uh, dark brown as well. So you can go for the other eyeshadow palette if you want to. I will have links down below anyway, so you guys can check out the collection it's such a fun and cute collection it definitely is maybe more of like a springish kind of collection but i am really impressed with this cream shadow stick and yeah it went on really creamy and it's very pigmented very intense and minty so if you love that kind of stuff um then you would absolutely love that so with this palette right here as you can see it does come with these shades it has a shimmery mint more of a lightish champagne gold and then a matte uh, brown and then a matte chocolate deep brown this is also supposed to be a easily blendable formula and it's supposed to be ultra pigmented as well so i'm actually going to go into this nice brown right here it does have a little bit of fallout and we're going to apply that in the crease so i think what's great about this palette because the other one is like true mint you know all four shades are mint shades but with this one, you do get your two neutrals. So I feel like if you're someone who wants to dabble into a little bit of mint and a little pop of colour, but you don't want to go all out minty on the eyes, then this would be a great one because you can, you know, have the pop of mint, but also have the neutral aspect as well. I love how this is looking so far. So now... I'm going to take the dark brown and I'm just going to deepen up the outer V and bring it into the crease just a little bit. So comment down below, did you guys pick up anything from this collection or have you not picked up anything yet? And let me know if you haven't, what do you think you will get from this collection, if anything? I always love reading your comments, so I would love to know what you guys think of this collection. Leave me your thoughts down below. Okay, so I'm going to repeat that on this side. I'm really excited to try the primer as well, the face primer. I feel like once I apply the mint shimmer, then it will all come together. Before I go into that shimmer, I'm going to actually take the cream stick again and apply that just over what we did before. So it just has that extra pop. You see how much more vibrancy you get once you pack it on because the shadows did blend it away a little bit. Okay, and now I'm going to pack on the shimmer. 
Now I'm going into the mint. Okay. I am so done. I am so done. This just bring it alive even more. It sets that cream and it adds a little bit of shimmer where your eye just really, really pops. This is stunning. I am so shocked. This is so stunning. A little bit more of that brown and just smoke it right here to blend. And I really just want to leave the mint to just have its moment. So I don't think I'm going to add anything else. Now that I have my mascara on, I'm taking the champagne. As you can see, it does have some fallout. They are really creamy, but they just have a little bit of fallout, which I don't really mind. And just do a little pop of inner corner highlight, which, hello, can we just appreciate this inner corner i mean it really brings a look together the only thing i would say is i wish it was more of an icy highlight because i feel like it just throws it off that this is a lot more gold it needs to be more cool toned that's the only thing i would say about the inner corner about this shimmer but i guess you can't really tell that much once you apply and to be honest you can mix the two anyway so for the face primer we do have the new mint melt cooling face primer so this one is supposed to be a gel texture it's also supposed to have a vanilla mint scent which also the lip gloss has a vanilla mint scent as well and it's also supposed to be a gripping primer and it's supposed to be moisturizing as well so i feel like it's going to be a great dupe for the uh, milk hydro grip primer but let's see and it does come with a pump really really nice and let's just i guess go in so oh it's like a mint gel. Okay, it definitely has a, oh my God, this feels like toothpaste. <laughs> okay. It's definitely very minty, but sweet. This is so bizarre. It definitely feels like the Milk Hydro Grip Primer, like identical to it. And it does say it adds a fresh glow to the skin, this primer. I uh, definitely can see that it's giving me that kind of Korean glass skin wet looking effect. As you can see, like my skin looks very glossy. Um, it's very tacky, so it does have some stickiness, which is great because it means it's going to grip to the foundation. So I do feel like this would make the foundation last even longer. However, I don't know if I like the texture. I feel like it's just maybe almost too sticky. So let's see how it's gonna look with foundation on top, but I do love the dewiness that it gives. It just gives me this fresh glow as they suggest. So I didn't wanna apply the e.l.f. foundation because I wanted to try a different foundation and see how it would pair with this primer. So I'm gonna go in with the Maybelline Superstay foundation. This one is in True Ivory and see if that dewiness peeks through the foundation or if it goes away. So it's definitely making my foundation look really smooth. This foundation's great anyway, but I feel like as I'm applying it with the brush, it does have the stickiness, but it's really just going on nice and smooth because the primer is moisturizing. It is a moisturizing primer. And I do definitely feel like it's really gripping to this foundation. So yeah, I think this is almost like a complete dupe for the Milk Hydro Grip Primer. If you like those kinds of ones, if you like the Elf Jelly Pop Primer as well, the one that they came out with last year, that's a great one too. I feel like it's very similar. Really like how it's going on with my foundation. You still get the dewiness as well, I don't know if you can tell, and this is a matte foundation, a semi-matte foundation, but you still see the glow happening. It looks very fresh, it looks very healthy, and it doesn't look overly dewy. So this would be a great primer for all skin types. This is what the foundation is looking like. I really like that it still kept the dewiness just peeking through slightly from the foundation, even though um, it's not overly dewy and touching it now, it definitely, the stickiness isn't there anymore. So I'm going to finish off the rest of my makeup and we'll be back to try out the lips. So now that I look a little more alive for the under eyes, I am just going to quickly take this one right here and drag it along the lower lash line. 
and then take a little bit of the deep chocolate brown and just apply it to the outer corner and then apply my mascara so what do we think of the look so far? I absolutely love it. So for the lips, I did pick up one of their brand new Mint Melt Plumping Lip Glosses. So it is a plumping lip gloss. Now I'm going to see if it's going to tingle. I'm pretty sure it is. Um, but I hope it doesn't tingle too much because I don't really like that. This one is in the shade Mint Chocolate. Uh, and they do have, I believe, four shades of this as well. But I wanted to pick up the more kind of just nudie brownie shade i feel like this will be versatile on a lot of skin tones and this one is supposed to be a moisturizing lip gloss with a sheer wash of color and it's supposed to be a high glossy shine finish so this is what it looks like and i'm just going to go over it on top of my bare lips see how much color it gives oh it actually does give quite a bit of color it's got the same scent as the primer it's not sticky whatsoever, which I actually thought it would be. It's not sticky. I can feel it tingling a little bit, but it's very, very subtle. It's not like this burning sensation, at least not as of now. So I do like it. I feel like it definitely just makes the lips look nice and full and shiny. I think this would be great with a lipstick underneath, but I think I'm going to leave it like that. Do let me know your thoughts down below. What do you guys think of this look? I'm going to do a little zoom in close up so you can see everything absolutely love how it came out the tones um i really really like the palette with the neutral tones in it but again you can go for the complete mint one let me know what you guys think yes this is the collection and let me know all your thoughts down below and would you rock this look so do leave me your thoughts down below comment everything let me know if you're going to be picking up anything from this collection or if you already have and also what you think of the look as well and yeah just leave me all your thoughts down below i absolutely love this collection i think it was really fun i absolutely love the palette i think that's like the number one thing that i love because you can create a bright pop of mint but still make it wearable so i do feel like this is a great one if you are maybe scared of this sort of color then you can still work with some neutral tones to just tone it down a little bit i also absolutely love this cream stick and it's very vibrant, very minty. Again, I'll have links down below because they do have other shade options. So you don't have to actually go for the ones that I picked out. But I love it. I love the lip gloss. It literally plumps the lips without that burning, tingling sensation. And the primer was really nice as well because it gave me a glowy finish without being overly dewy. And I just feel like, you know, the luminosity peaks through a little bit, but also grips to my foundation and is moisturizing, smells nice. It's a great dupe for the milk one. So yeah, I cannot complain about these products. I really like how they came out. Let me know your thoughts down below. And if you like this video, give it a thumbs up, comment down below. And if you are new here, don't forget to hit the subscribe button to see new videos from me every single week. And I hope everyone is staying safe. So until next time, I'll speak to you guys all in my next video.